All right, what's going on, guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing another video leading up to the series finale for AMC's original The Walking Dead television series. And this one, we're going to give our thoughts on if Rick doesn't return. Alright dudes, so definitely wanted to uh, bang out a few more videos for you guys here before the uh, finale hits this weekend. This one might be the last one we do. Uh, we'll see what time on Sunday the episode airs. I'll have the review done for you guys. Uh, if it's an extended episode, you know, Sunday night, maybe Sunday morning if they release it. Uh, on the same day, like within 24 hours, AMC premiere. So we'll see if it uh, on premiere, if it doesn't show until like you know, 9 p.m. or so Eastern time, same as the uh, the uh, TV series premiere date or whatnot. But anyway, Sunday night, we'll have the review done for you guys uh, at some point, if it's late in the night or maybe early, whenever they release it. Um, we'll have that for you guys for the finale. So in this one, we give our thoughts leading up to this finale on how we will feel if Rick Grimes does not return for the Walking Dead finale. So it's sort of like... Uh, Andrew Lincoln was uh, in Atlanta when they were filming this. There was pictures of him going out for dinner with Norman Reedus. So he was on uh, location when they were filming the final uh, episodes, I believe, at least the final episode. And so that kind of got the, um, you know, uh, predictions going, kind of like the, um, you know, people expecting that he'll be there for the finale. Now, I don't think it's uh, a guarantee that we're going to see Rick in this final episode. It's an extended 90-minute episode, so I think they have enough time to wrap up the um, storyline that they're doing with the Commonwealth and then at the same time also uh, bring uh, Rick back, maybe do a time skip with Judith uh, into the future where Rick has returned and they're like living together at a farmhouse with Michonne and, uh, and RJ. Um, you know, maybe with like an older version of Judith at that point. So we'll see if I'm right and they actually do bring him back. I really hope that they do. If they don't bring him back for the finale, I just feel like the finale episode will, uh, you know, just feel like there's something lacking. Like, as awesome as the Commonwealth story arc is, if you're going to finish off the epic Walking Dead television series and you don't have like Rick and Michonne there for the final episode, or at least Rick, um, it probably will feel like it's missing something. Now, they have announced the spinoff series. So we know they're going to do the Rick and Michonne spinoff. That's going to be one of them. They're going to do the Daryl Dixon spinoff. That's another. They're going to do uh, Dead City, which is the uh, six-episode first pilot season with Negan and Maggie. But we just don't um, you know, know for sure if we're going to be seeing a reuniting in this last episode in the future or something after a time skip if rick could return as a crm uh, general and split the group up is another uh possible uh possibility of what we could see maybe that's how daryl ends up in france and negan and maggie end up in new york or something uh could the group could rick arrive at the end and kind of split them up and send them off in different locations or something like this um that would make sense of why they've kind of spread out to different spots and that would be that would be a really cool way to go however i should say a lot of people do not like the idea of rick being a villain and coming back as a villain at the end they want to see their good guy rick back so for that you know the spinoff series will be uh, really good a couple seasons of that they've kind of confirmed for so we'll see but that's kind of how i feel if rick doesn't return i think People are going to be dissatisfied with the episode no matter what else they do. They could have explosions. They could have, you know, uh, Michael Bay buildings collapsing sideways and stuff, running sideways up buildings and stuff like this. No matter what theatrics they pull, no matter what craziness they do, um, you know, it's, it's probably going to leave something desired if you don't have Rick Grimes in at least one scene, like before the credits, post credits, something like that. Uh, at the end, it could even be a one minute or two minute scene, 30 seconds, a 10 second scene would probably suffice. And that would be a satisfying ending, I think, uh, to to finish off the Walking Dead TV series on. So it's kind of a must if you want to finish the series in kind of a way that's going to make everybody happy. If they don't do that, well, then I think, yeah, some people are going to be unhappy. Did a video yesterday, if you guys didn't catch it, on the lawsuit with Robert Kirkman being uh, re, uh, resubmitted again. 
So a $200 million lawsuit. Uh, Frank Darabont won his lawsuit against AMC. Some people didn't know what the lawsuit was about. It has to do with when the series started. Uh, AMC had Darabont and uh, Kirkman and the executive producers, Gail Ann Hurd and some of the others, sign a deal where, from their perspective, they thought they were getting a percentage of what The Walking Dead um, was going to do. And instead... They got a percentage of what's called an imputed fee, which means that uh, they got a percentage of the show uh, for the costs that AMC pays for it and not the overall profits of the show. So they kind of like AMC, sort of like AMC Studios kind of sold the show to themselves at an imputed fee value. And they got a percentage of that instead of the percentage of the overall Walking Dead you know, deal. They, they spun off to Fear of the Walking Dead. They've done Tales of the Walking Dead, World Beyond, all this other stuff. And so, um, you know, there's some, there's some animosity between Kirkman and AMC because he got, uh, he got tricked, I guess, or at least there was a misunderstanding there where he thought he was getting a percentage of the overall total, I believe. And instead, he just got a percentage of an imputed fee that part of AMC sold to another part of AMC for a show fee. So that's kind of what happened with it. So it was some, uh, uh, you know, self-dealing was what Darabont sued them for, that that was the uh, idea and his impression. And I guess he won, so they're submitting again. It's been thrown out a couple times. It might get thrown out again. But um, there were some other comments about it people wanted to know. Like, um, you know, one of them that was good is... Uh, uh, Dr. Death, I think, said, Gilly, some of the others, some of the other guys, too, uh, said that, you know, Robert Kirkman has distanced himself from the Walking Dead TV series. Now we know why. Uh, and suddenly him being nowhere in sight around this franchise makes sense, said Dr. Death. Uh, did find it a little odd that he's not getting in any of uh, the series finale celebrations. Yeah, you know, it's, re it's sad, you know, because... You know, I'm a huge fan of the comics. I'm a fan of, of his. I'm a fan of Invincible, too. I'm wa I love watching Invincible. I did some reviews for the animated series. I reviewed the comic book series for Invincible. Kirkman is uh, an incredible talent as an entrepreneur, Skybound, and as a comic book uh, creator. He's just uh, he's an incredible talent. So, um, you know, to see him distance himself from the TV series is uh really kind of sad uh you know i wonder if he'll be at the talking dead celebration this weekend i guess we'll have to see whether or not he's uh, he's going to be there but it does make me sad because um you know you want to see him and be like if george r. r martin all of a sudden stopped liking game of thrones or house of the dragon or something it would just be just be kind of sad you know if the creator uh you know just what didn't want to be involved with you know the uh, the spinoff creation, the adapt the TV adaptation of what he's uh, what he's uh, come up with, but I think that something like that makes sense. Gilly said uh, it's sad to see this happen, but now I know why we never see or hear from Robert Kirkman with anything related to the show, and that's true. I think he said at Comic Con as well that he um, made more off the comics than off the show. So he, you know, uh, and, and I've seen him, like, I think some of the panels he's been on, like, he'll be on the panel for the comics every, obviously, every time, because it's his. But for the TV series, I don't know. You know, you don't really see him much involved anymore. You used to, uh, but nowadays it feels like he's not that. He doesn't really promo it. Uh, I don't think Skybound, the website, even really posts articles on it that much. Maybe a little bit here and there, but not like that uh, consistently or anything. So... It's sad to see, but uh, things like this happen, and um, you know the legal stuff is nasty. Whenever you get involved with legal stuff and money, whenever you get money involved, legal stuff involved, uh, that's one thing for you younger guys. If you're ever going to go into business or do something, always do it by yourself or make sure you've got the legal stuff sorted out ahead of time. And even then, sometimes it doesn't work out. So don't go into business with people you don't trust. And don't go into business with friends. That's one one I one I got for you guys. Don't ever go into business with someone because they're your buddy, okay? Because so many times uh, I've seen it. Now there are cases where it can work out, but so many times you go into business with a friend and you're doing everything. They're they're not doing pulling their share, or you know they they uh, you know I don't know they they start stealing money or they start you know all. All the, and the friendships almost never last, right? So whenever you go into business with a friend, 
it almost never works out. So if you're going to do something, uh, legally be careful, pay the money up front for a lawyer, and uh, make sure that uh, you have ownership. Um, it's just nasty stuff. It's unfortunate. Anyway, moving on. Uh, Glory of the Dead said, why do some people think we're going to get huge viewership ratings for the final episode? I think it won't be more than five to six million. It's currently about two million viewers per episode. Yeah, um, you're right, Gloria, uh, which is the first walker, I believe. I think that's the first walker we ever see in Walking Dead universe. Um, at least so far as I can tell. I don't know where World Beyond's walkers fit in, but I think Gloria is the first uh, Walking Dead zombie. So um, it's, uh, yeah, so how many viewers? I'll do a prediction. I think it'll get 3 million or something like that. I don't think it'll be like 5 or 6 million. Not that many people are caught up and are watching it. There will be some extras that pop in just to see that final episode, but it's probably not going to be you know, um, triple, like you're right, it's about 2 million per episode. It's probably not going to be triple, but there will be people that are interested to see how The Walking Dead ends, and it depends if Rick shows up. If Rick is in the final episode, maybe your your ratings will pop off. You'll get, um, you know, uh, people telling each other, and then they'll be like, oh, I got to go watch it. But it probably won't be live. It'll probably be after the fact, right? Uh, but still, it'll be really, really cool. Hopefully they do something like that. We'll see. Uh, but it, it'll still be a big finale. You know, it's a monumental occasion for Walking Dead fans. WWE Josh says, Wolves Not Far. And a whole bunch of people thumbs, thumbed it up. That's really cool. I still get uh, World Patriot sometimes leaves a comment still. Uh, who is like in season um, uh, six it was. Yeah, season six. You have these these troll guys, Wolves Not Far. They just posted everywhere. That's pretty funny. So I don't know. I just threw that in there. Uh, Brucifer uh, Memphis Duffy says, I haven't heard from uh, the guy in a while. Now I know why about Kirkman. Carlos Danger says he's worth $40 million for Kirkman. I think uh, he's greedy, uh, or I think his greedy ass will survive. <laughs> Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna comment this. I'm just reading what he, what Carlos said here. I'm not saying that. Uh, you know, I like Kirkman, so I don't want to piss him off or anything. But yeah, he's. I think he's done very well for himself. I don't think it's that big of a deal. But um, I don't know, man. You know, when you, uh, I don't know. I, it, it's it's a deception thing. If he was genuinely under the impression that he was going to get a certain percentage, and it, it and then he got he got screwed on it. I can totally understand why he would still be upset about it. Um, I wish they wouldn't have done that to begin with. Uh, Ilk uh, Sowers says, people expecting 30 minutes of Rick are going to be whining and smashing their TVs. Uh, I always find that sort of overreaction hilarious. Uh, yeah, that's funny. Uh, I don't think you're going to get like 30 minutes. Well, you might get 5, 10 minutes, maybe 20 at the max. Yeah, I don't think you're going to get that much, but you'll probably get a few minutes, at least 5 or 10, but just imagine if you don't see him at all. People are going to be quite disappointed, I think. Uh, although, if Judith survives, that could be a good ending, too, uh, if they do that. Uh, Ella Smith Jr. said, Many months ago, uh, I have stated again and again that the final season will end with uh, plot holes and many questions unanswered. These final episodes will seem uh, being rushed uh, in a lot of action-packed scenes uh, to be crammed in uh, that seem to not make uh, a lot of sense or to amount to getting... Uh, to an end uh, that we, the fans, will be happy with. Unresolved closures that will uh, leave us scratching our heads. Well, certainly the Oceanside stuff, I feel like, could have been at least half an episode to show what happened with Lance. They just never showed it, really. Uh, although that would have been, like, something for brutal slow-mo maybe they could have shown. Maybe they thought it was too brutal so they wouldn't show it, um, which makes sense. But they used Luke, and, or what is it, uh, Luke and uh, and his... Um, and Jules to show what happened with them. But I don't know. It, it's okay, I guess. Uh, there, Yeah, it does feel a little bit rushed, but I wouldn't say that it's like too many loose ends. But there's Rick out there, Michonne out there. You know, we'll see. We'll see how it ends up, though. Um, yeah, so, and then the last one will be from um, Wes Brown, who says, uh, I like the comic book ending, but uh, the comic book ending also felt rushed. Uh, and that there was there were some loose ends uh, that would be interesting to close out. I feel the show will be the same. It will be uh, a solid ending, no Game of Thrones ending here, but nothing spectacular or entirely disappointing either. Yeah, that's what Wes has got for his prediction. So yeah, the conflict ending was also kind of spontaneous. It just kind of had like it was really quick. It didn't um, it, he didn't telegraph it almost at all. It was like one issue, and then it was just like that's it. 
It was like, wow. Um, but it was a little bit of an extended final issue, so at least it had that. Spontaneous, I suppose. He, I, I feel like Kirkman is a bit of a troll, just to put it out there. I, I just think he's a bit of a, a bit of a troll. I, I, I think that he probably should be above that at this point, uh, considering his career success and everything. But I just get the sense that he's just got this like, he's just got this troll factor, and uh, there's not much you can do about it, right? And Gibble does too. It might be why they get along with each other. Uh, you know, I don't know. They just have this. They just have this troll factor going. Okay, so that's it. If Rick doesn't return, that's what I'm saying. People are going to be pissed. So I hope he returns. Last five or ten minutes, I'll be watching carefully. Thumb the video up. Share favorite below. Subscribe at the bottom, and I'll see you guys again soon this weekend for some videos for the ending. Can you believe it? Of The Walking Dead. Travis, say peace, later, guys. See you soon.